Welcome, or uh, welcome back to Jessup Says, video number two. Somebody once told me that a great outfit can be built around a pair of white sneakers. Now, I've thought about that a lot. And with the way that we're dressing today, the more casual way that we're dressing today, I believe that this is actually the case. Whether you're going on a safari or wearing a suit, a white sneaker is your friend. And the Koyo Capri is a great friend to have. Hello, I'm Sam from Jessup Says. The focus of my channel is to share and educate on how to buy less, buy better. It's about how we can make smarter and more considered choices before we purchase to ensure that what we purchase is built to last and fit for its purpose. In menswear, this means considering style, cut and fabric and really getting to understand what it means to have timeless clothing in your wardrobe. It's not about having a capsule wardrobe per se, it's about having a range of different objects that fit each purpose that you may need. My hope is that as time goes on, more people will understand and embrace this approach of buy less, buy better, and move towards a more sustainable future in fashion. Another side effect of this buy less, buy better approach is the amount of enjoyment you get out of the items that you purchase because you really thought about and considered that purchase so you know when you buy it that it's really gonna do the job that you need it to do. There are a few main reasons why you might be considering a white sneaker. I'm sure that maybe the most prominent one is that everyone's wearing them. And maybe they're wearing them for a good reason. You might also be wondering about the downsides of a white sneaker. So let's get to that first. You might be thinking that the biggest downside to a white sneaker is, well, that they're white. White can typically be considered somewhat risky to wear. The risk is that you're going to get a bit of mud or dirt or maybe some wine on the clothing and ultimately destroy that piece of clothing being unable to remove that stain and having to, I guess, throw the item out if it's really bad. Although I personally don't mind a bit of patina. Fortunately, as long as you don't want a canvas sneaker, which is made out of typically some form of cotton that can stain, with a quality leather sneaker, you won't have this issue. Leather is an extremely resilient material and has been used in high quality leather goods from shoes to bags and belts since the dawn of time. It's gonna be the key to ensuring that your shoes look mint for a long time. The white leather used in most white sneakers is chrome tanned or combination chrome tanned, making it very supple and long lasting. It's also typically coated in a layer that gives it the pure white finish that we come to expect as natural leather is a more sort of beigey, tanny color. And it's very hard to get that to go any, you know, any closer to a white. So typically there's a film on top of the leather um, that helps and maintain and retain that very white, pure white color. A company called Crown Northampton have actually released a veg tan white leather sneaker, which I am very, very curious about and hopefully want to try one day. It is for this reason, leather and white leather, that getting your sneakers dirty is not gonna be a big issue. Sure, you may start out by babying the shoe, you know, wiping it down with a cloth every time you wear them, making sure that there's no blemishes, no spots on them, keeping the, you know, the edge of the, of the sole nice and clean, and, and that's all great. But I can assure you that over time, this becomes less and less important as the shoes age and develop and patina. And ultimately, my pair, after wearing them for two years, and I've, I've done barely any cleaning for the last six to eight months, you really can't tell. And they still look like a fantastic white sneaker that I'm happy to pull on literally at any time. These sneakers can take the long walks through the mud, grime, sand, even snow. And when you do get home, you do see that they're a bit muddy. A simple wipe down with a cloth is all you're gonna need to do. And they're good as new. Upsides. Let me name the biggest one, comfort. Now, we all love sneakers. It's a given that they're comfortable, 
something to throw on when you go for a walk, something to throw on that's comfortable, that you can stand on, stand in all day without worrying about how much your feet are gonna hurt at the end of the day. But imagine for a second a sneaker made of high quality leather. Not just the outside of the leather, but throughout the shoe, the lining, the insole, all made of soft, luxurious, supple leather, conforming to your foot gradually, getting more and more comfortable over time. But also not wearing out after six months to a year of wear. Over this time, a white sneaker becomes like an old friend, ready to help you through a day standing on your feet in comfort and style. Am I describing your heaven? Probably. You should go and buy some white sneakers. So, you're convinced. But how are you gonna wear them? Hmm. My best suggestion is put something on. Pull on your white sneakers, job done. Now, that may seem like an oversimplification, but just try it. For example, you wanna wear jeans and a simple white t-shirt, done. You wanna wear chinos and a button up, done. You wanna wear a pair of flannels and a sports coat, done. A suit, hmm, well, I mean, that's up to you. So, now you know you want them and you know how you're gonna wear them, where do you buy them from? There are a ton of different companies who make their version of a white sneaker. They're not all made equally, and they're not all made to a quality deserving of your hard-earned money, because they're not all built to last forever. In my experience, around 200 US dollars is where I find the best value for money in a white sneaker. There is actually a fantastic video by Rose Anvil, who I'm sure most people have, have seen, where he goes into detail and cuts apart all of the main brands of white sneakers and does an analysis on all of the components of that shoe from a leather worker's perspective. And he's gonna be able to provide a lot more knowledge and depth than I would be able to about what to look for. He basically surmised that Koyo is one of the top brands with Crown Northampton being another outstanding option. At this price of around 200 USD, you can expect a few things that will help ensure that your sneaker will last for a long time, including full grain or top grain leather, a margam sole or something similar, and a leather insole. The reason why I say a margam sole or something similar is because the margam sole is actually what's called, I believe, strobel stitched, which means that the cup sole is stitched onto the, the leather outer. Um, and this has the benefit of being not only long lasting, but also that there is a potential to be resold. Now I've not had the experience and tried to do it myself or, or sent it off to someone to do, but I believe that you can remove that cup sole and replace it with a new cup sole, which is pretty amazing because you know, that's gonna be the first part that wears out. The leather on the inside and the leather on the outside is probably gonna last a lot longer than, than the margam sole. The other fantastic part of the margam sole is that they're extremely comfortable and durable. They really do cup the foot in a really unique way and they do make it very, very comfortable for standing for long periods of time. They're also, like I said, very dur durable and I can speak to two years of wearing my Koyos and I, I really haven't been kind to these shoes and the, the sole looks, it's still got another six months to a year's worth of life left in them. And you definitely wouldn't see that on some, some other lower quality shoe or lower quality outsole. You know, I've had a pair of Converse that six months in, they look like they probably need to be retired. And, and that definitely has not happened with the Koyos and with the Markham sole that they use. A comment just quickly on the leather insole. This is something that I found really important and actually my wife has really commented on the, not only the comfort and the durability that this leather insole provides for the shoe, but also the lack of smell that comes with a leather insole and having leather lined shoes. This is because leather is actually naturally antimicrobial. So there's no ability for your sweat to get clogged up in anywhere like a canvas lining or like a cotton lining might, where you know your sweat just soaks into it and it becomes a horrible smelly mess after, I don't know, depends on how smelly your feet are. 
If you want more information, check out the link in the description below. I have an article on my website where I go into a bit more information, provide some options, and really dig deeper into the, into the white sneaker universe. To my Koyos. Two years ago, I purchased these Koyos, a pair for myself and a pair for my wife. And two years later, with more miles than I could count, do they really look like they've had the life that I'm telling you they've had? I've had so many memories in these shoes and they truly have become my friends over that time. It may be time to retire these shoes soon. Let them enjoy an easy life, lessen the rotation, where they can enjoy the green pastures of, I guess, my shoe rack. That requires me finding a shoe that's equally as comfortable and equally as durable. And that's not gonna be easy. So now to the Jessup Says portion of the video. The summary, the wrap up. A white sneaker is something you need in your wardrobe. They're easy to wear, super versatile, and extraordinarily comfortable. Not only that, but if you buy something that's made out of a high quality leather, like mine from Koyo, they're gonna last you a long, long time, and they're gonna just look better and better and better with age. The added benefit that you never have to clean them. Well, you never really have to clean them. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Look forward to the next video. Have a lovely day. Cheers.